Yeah, we're about to try to make history tonight. First time we won in Assembly Hall. So we'll go out here and fight this crowd, fight this tough team, and do what we do best. We gonna win. That's history, then yeah, we gonna make history come tonight. In a building that reeks of history, the Nittany Lions were looking to make some of their own. Assembly Hall is where Indiana has built a lot of the Hoosier tradition, and it's where Penn State continued to build its tradition. Coach Ed DeCellis had the game plan, and Penn State carried it out to perfection, scoring the first six points, and they never looked back. They got nobody can guard Stanley Pringle. He's driving by people like they're statues out here. Penn State has scored six of the first eight points here in the opening five minutes. Williams lays it up, blocked by Jones, pulled down by Brooks. Penn State on the move. Cornley coming off a career high for three. Last year we talked, uh, Jim Mill said, listen, in order for me to get better and extend my game, I have to start shooting the jump shot better. And he worked extremely hard on that over the summer, and that allows him now to give him a little pump fake and drive to the basket. But now big guys have to respect him and honor him out that far. 9-5, Nittany Lions, 14-20, driving Pringle by Jones. Reverse layup is good. At will, Steve. They can't guard him. Battle for three, and look out. Penn State's guards are getting where they want, when, when they want. Are. Penn State's guards are not only among the best in the Big Ten, but among the best duos in the country. Taylor Battle and Stanley Pringle have been giving opposing defenses fits all season. And at Indiana, they were instrumental in committing just eight turnovers in front of the hostile crowd. Add Danny Morrissey to the guard mix as he led Penn State in bench points against the Hoosiers. The Nittany Lions were roaring at both ends of the court and would build as much as a 14-point first half lead. What I like so far is every time Indiana's done something positive, Penn State's answered it right away. Correct. Battle finds Cornley on the block. Backing table. Jamel Cornley. You know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I know one thing. <laughs> if you can get it to Cornley inside and he can make moves like that, I'm dumping it down to him and let him go to work. Top of the key, Tabor for three. Long rebound batted by Battle over to Pringle. Pringle down the far side in transition. Pringle splits the defense down the lane. Trip going to the bucket. He'll shoot two. That was an awesome behind-the-back dribble yeah. by Stanley. In one play, Pringle showed heart as well as finesse, and the combination of work and talent was paying off for a Penn State team that made it tough for Indiana to score, holding the Hoosiers to 28% shooting in the first half. The Nittany Lions hit a cold spell themselves late in the half, and Indiana got the deficit down to single digits by the break. Penn State knew they would have to weather a storm at some point, and the Hoosiers would play better in the second half but there was little doubt about where this game was going because Penn State took every punch and countered with one of their own. Pringle, battle, jumper for two, good. This is Devin Dumas. So the Indiana crowd for the fourth time tonight comes to life. Indiana back to within six, and then the blow by by Pringle. He understood that the baseline was open, a rip through one dribble right to the basket. Poor recognition by the Hoosiers on the defensive end of the court. Splits, stolen by Brooks. Off for battle on the move, but Cornley. Cornley to the bucket, lays it up, and in. Yeah, real nice run out, Steve. That's what they need to do, strip, go. What's their big advantage here? Speed, when they get the ball, they got to go with it. In state with a couple of quick hoops, back on top by 10. Four different times in the second half, Penn State built double-digit leads. They used grit as well as guile, frustrating Indiana and quieting the home crowd, exercising demons from the rafters of a building that had never been kind. 10 to go on the shot clock, Taylor Battle. High screen by Jones, Battle deep for three, my goodness! Took that from downtown Indianapolis. Wow. Oh my goodness. Taylor Battle, the sophomore who plays like a fifth year senior, pulls up from about 28. Penn State by nine. Elbow near side, Williams wants to drive on battle, forces a block by Ott from behind, pulled down by Pringle. That's what team defense is all about. Recognizing when your guy is beat and you help him out. Pulled down by Pringle. 
Pringle ahead for battle. Battle in transition near wing. Skip pass far corner Morrissey. Up for three and no good rebound. Cornley. Cornley over the right hand and good. The and offensive rebound. <laughs> Cornley was coming off a career high against Michigan State and had 17 against Indiana, but there's always room for improvement, and the Nittany Lions did not have a strong game on the offensive glass. Indiana continued to hang around. Penn State would build the lead to 10, and the Hoosiers would cut it back down. They would get as close as four points, but the well-coached Nittany Lions would not wilt under the pressure. Our, our focus was just try to you know, play as well as we could play and, and uh, play better than we played the other night. I, I thought... Uh, you know, I talked about execution for day one. Good job of guard. We just got to go strong, right? Five blue shirts rebounded. Five blue shirts. I don't think you can ever focus on winning or losing games. I think it's trying to get better as a team, trying to control the things that you can control. And that's the way you play. Oh, so we put them away, right? Let's go. Closest Indiana's been since very early in the ball game has been down five earlier in the second half. Baseline Pritchard, backdoor for knocked away by Pringle, stolen by Jackson. Yeah, good call by the coaching staff. Indiana was getting comfortable against the man. They went zone, turnover. While the Nittany Lions zone defense slowed the Hoosiers' comeback, Penn State had success against the Indiana zone because from the very beginning of the game, the Lions got everyone involved in their offense. And that continued until the clock showed all zeros. But perhaps Penn State's biggest weapon was speed. Here come the Hoosiers. Do they have one more run left in them? Stolen by Battle. That was a hugely athletic play by Taylor. For three. Williams had it, could not control it. And here comes Pringle on the run with numbers. And he finds it. Corley smartly stops and gives the ball back to Morris. And just run clock. Battle wants to drive, does. In the trees, back out to Morrissey. Pringle, far wing, open three-pointer. Bring it up. A dagger by Stanley Pringle, and it's a 10-point lead. Pringle led all scorers with 19, one of three Nittany Lions in double digits, and he didn't turn the ball over once. It was a hard-fought win by a well-prepared team, and for the first time, Penn State traveled to Bloomington and left Assembly Hall with a win.